Now, growers of cannabis can be indoors or outdoors, and everyone thinks the other one's easier. However, here I'm going to go over how you take your small cannabis plant, how you transition it to an indoor or an outdoor site, what are the advantages and disadvantages of each here on Tobacco University. All right, assuming you have a nice little cannabis plant, let's go over if you put it in an indoor or an outdoor location, what are some of the things, uh, pros and cons with each. So first off, indoor or outdoor production. Uh, where will your seedling or clone be spending the rest of its cycle? You want to think about is it going to be in the indoor or is it going to be in the harsher outdoor environment? We have a little less controls, but also a little less upfront costs. So first off, for indoor uh, applications, uh, what's the advantages? Well, grower has control over the environment. It can produce higher quality flowers and it can allow for specific experimentation. So it's great to kind of have this as an option. If you're looking at creating experiments, looking at strains, uh, indoor environment, that control offers a lot of advantages, offers a lot of kind of ways to see differences a little bit better. Now the disadvantages of being in an indoor production is simply the cost of all the equipment that you need, as we can see here in these uh, examples. These, you need to supply the lighting, you need to supply the water, you need to supply the air circulation. Uh, there's also challenges in producing high total biomass simply because of the expense associated with the area. You also have a lack of natural outdoor conditions, which again could be advantage, could be disadvantage, but in this case, the lack of natural outdoor conditions, you have to make sure you're regulating and simulating that outdoor uh, conditions to maximize the growth of your plants. Now for um, those outdoor productions, again, our indoors productions, pros and cons. Outdoor, same thing. What are some of the advantages though of growing outdoors? Overall, you have reduced cost of production compared to indoor production, as I just mentioned, because you get natural sunlight exposure. There is no need to go back to the previous slide. No, you need to have lights here with different wavelengths and changing out bulbs and you know, supplying electricity and cooling that. Well, you get natural sunlight exposure, and that's kind of free. It's also easier to grow large quantities because you don't have to worry about or under the constraints of that kind of lighting application there. However, all is not glorious. There are also some disadvantages to growing outdoors. And there's simply a lack of control over environmental conditions. It could be too much water, too little rain, um, too much sun, different soil types. Uh, so these are all things to take into consideration. There's also increased pest pressure uh, from natural as well as insects, as well as larger, potentially deer, um, can also impact the area. Certain soil or feed conditions are not supportive for plant growth, so you want to be mindful of taking a soil test so you're not putting your plants in an area that they may look good initially, but then will not come to term at the full end of the harvest cycle. So again, each has their advantages and disadvantages. You've got to pick one and you've got to deal with some of the conditions you may have control or not control over, uh, and hopefully will produce a quality product regardless of indoor or outdoor conditions as long as you go about planning 